Okay, so I finally got my first Windows machine with an NVIDIA GPU, thanks to the folks at NVIDIA. Now, I'm personally really excited about this because usually whenever I create video tutorials for open source projects, I simply skip the setup part for Windows machines. And the reason is I'm using an M2 Max as my daily driver. So this is going to enable me to experiment with open source projects on Windows machines that have uh, NVIDIA GPUs. In this video, we're going to specifically look at uh, NVIDIA Chat RTX. This is an app built by NVIDIA and optimized for RTX GPUs that are running on Windows machines. I'll let you chat with your files and also search photos and images using local models. But before that, a uh, quick look at the machine that I got. So this is Rogue Zephyrus G16. It has uh, a GeForce RTX 4070 laptop GPU. Now this was right before CES, so I didn't get the 50 series. And I think the 4070 will represent a large chunk of my audience who have very similar uh, laptop or desktop GPUs. A 4070 has enough VRAM uh, that will enable me to run smaller models like 8 or uh, 10 billion. I also uh, plan to run some other NVIDIA products and test them, such as the NVIDIA AI Workbench, and locally experiment with NVIDIA NIM and NVIDIA NEMO. And if you are interested in NVIDIA hardware, there are a number of different options for you to choose from. I'll put a link to this in the video description. But let's run Chat RTX on this new Windows machine. Next, let me show you how to set up NVIDIA Chat RTX on your uh, Windows machine with RTX GPU. Now, the setup was surprisingly smooth. I just set up my machine. I did not install NVIDIA CUDA drivers or anything like that. I just down downloaded the Chat RTX app. And surprisingly, uh, it worked out of the box. Now, currently, it supports RTX 30 and 40 series, and also the RTX Impair and Adder generation. Probably support for 50 series is going to be also available. The file that you download is going to be 10 gigabytes, which contain the weights for the NLM as well as the embedding model. So here is the file uh, that I downloaded and extracted. I am remotely accessing uh, my Windows machine from my M2 Max. Now here's the app up after installation. So I'm going to just open it. Here's how the app uh, looks like. So everything is going to be running locally and privately uh, because you're running local models. Now the options in terms of the models is uh, limited. So right now by default, it downloads Mistral 7B in four bit quantization. There is another chat GLM, which is a six billion model, again in four bit quantization. You can also download a clip model if you want to search your photos and images. You can use this in two different modes. So one is chat with the AI model and the other one is chat with your data, which is basically an implementation of a RAG system. So let's start with the chat with your model. Okay, so here's how the speed is going to look like for this laptop GPU. Let's simply say, hi, tell me about your self. The speed is pretty awesome. Okay, let's see the GPU utilization. So I'm asking it to write a Python function that downloads a file from an S3 bucket. Uh, the programming is running and you can see the GPU utilization as well as uh, the VRAM clock, uh, CPU utilization and everything here. It's running that 7 billion and 4-bit quantization, but it's pretty fast. Okay, the second option is uh, to chat with your data. Uh, and basically for that, you want to select the RAG option. Now you can provide a path to a folder. So I provided a path to this folder that has two different papers. One is the original ORCA paper and the second one is the uh, DeepSeq V2 report. So I'm going to just click on this. This will basically refresh the data set, which means it's going to compute embeddings for the chunks that it creates. And then we'll be able to interact with our data. Okay, uh, to show you the speed of retrieval, I'm going to ask it what is instruction tuning. This is the section in the original ORCA paper. So it's doing retrieval and here are the responses. 
So it says instruction tuning is a technique that allows pre-trained language models to learn from input and response pairs. So it generates the response and then it also shows you the files that have referenced. So here is the original archive paper. And here's a section on instruction tuning. So this seems to be working out of the box. Now, apart from the accuracy, the response time is also pretty awesome. So it does it uses a lot of GPU VRAM, but the number of tokens per second is pretty great because this is well optimized for RTX GPUs. So if you're looking for out of the box solution to chat with your documents and you have access to RTX PC or a laptop, do check out Charge RTX. It's a really good option. And if you're interested in NVIDIA hardware, check out the link in the video description. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. And as always, see you in the next one.